welcome back to another video. We're finally together. I know. It's been a so, year. <laughs> literally so like long. so many months. Yeah. But I finally graduated from Emory University. Woo. And she's already graduated from UGA. Yes, we're both so done. We're both done. And we're both back home so we can like make videos and take photos and, and we can do it together. Do everything. So we decided that one of the very first videos we wanted to film together is an everyday natural makeup look, yeah. but our individual takes on it. So we're going to be using our very own makeup products that we have in our makeup bag, and we both have very dry skin, so we're going to focus on products that are more geared towards dry skin. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to get started with the... NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer because it's really freaking good and I'm going to douse my face in it. I'm going to use these two. So the Born This Way Foundation and then BB Cream from Maybelline. I love these two mixed together because they give off like that dewy vibe which is so nice. And I... When I go for a very natural look I don't use foundation actually because I find that I don't know. I just feel like I like the look of just concealer um, and then just blend it in very, very, very well. And I think that gives like a very, I don't know, very natural look because you can still see your skin. And I'm using the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, which is actually an amazing foundation. It's so good, especially if you have dry skin. This concealer is very liquidy and I just love that about it. I'm using this under my eyes because this is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And then around my face, I'm going to be using the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Light 2.5 Creme Brule. And I just got my eyebrows and my face waxed. Well, my eyebrows threaded and my face waxed. Like my sides and my upper lips. So I'm very red right now. <laughs> I'm usually not this red, it you looks know, good. the redness, thanks. Yeah, fits you, you look like a little tomato. That's what I want, I like tomatoes. And something to do when you do put on foundation and you are using a beauty blender, try like smearing it on your face rather than just dabbing it on. Because I've noticed that whenever you dab it onto your face without actually like moving it around, your beauty blender will just pick up a ton of the product instead of distributing it evenly around your face. Mm -hmm. I'm using the NYX uh, brush. It's like the foundation brush. It's in 04. It's very, very good. I feel like I always have to close my eyes whenever I'm going over <laughs> one eye. <laughs> like it's hard to keep them both open. Oh, I was like... <laughs> I thought you meant you have to close your eye when you go over your eye. I was like, of course you have to close your eye. What are you going to do? Like, <laughs> put foundation on your eye now? No. And I do douse it with some Mario Badescu rose water spray instead of water. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a difference, but I just feel more luxurious doing it, so I do. So yesterday we went to Target and we bought some Pixie products. I picked up a few of them and one of them is the concealer. So they didn't have the lightest shade, which I'm kind of nervous because this one is the in-between shade, but I think it might be like the same color as my skin. Hmm. So we'll see how it goes. That's the lightest shade? No, this is the medium shade. Oh, I see. Oh. That's <laughs> It looks like a butt. It looks like a foot. Oh, yeah. I'm going in with the kick-ass, um, what is it called? The powder by Soap and Glory. I love this stuff because it's like a yellow tone. So it helps with brightening up the under eye area. I'm going in with the Hula bronzer because <laughs> I really need to buy. I have hip pan, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, you so farther than me. I know. I need to. I really want to try a new bronzer. I have tried. I've had this bronzer for so long. Yeah. 
So I am using the Femme Couture Baked Bronzer and this one I got from Sephora. I love, or not Sephora, Sally Beauty. Mm -hmm. um, I love this one so much because it's like a multi-purpose purpose product. So you can use it as a highlighter or an eyeshadow and it's really shimmery. Um, it doesn't have like glitter in it, which is nice. It just shimmers. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. why I use this like I like that. for everything. Yeah, I have been trying to avoid shimmery products Me like too. for the face because sometimes they can look very just fake. Yeah, and I'm using my beauty blender to apply it because that way it doesn't look like powdery. It looks more dewy. Mm. I'm going to go in with the Glossier, uh, what is this called? Cloud Paint in Puff. And I have been loving <laughs> this. <laughs> I've been loving this so much. It's so pretty. I was really scared of the color because it's very pink. But if you put a very small amount of it on, I think it looks very natural. It's like painting. <laughs> Finger painting. Maybe that's why they called it cloud paint. Oh. So I'm just starting on the eyes and I'm going in with my Tartlet makeup palette or eyeshadow palette and I'm using the color Charmer which is, don't look at my nasty mirror, but it's this one right here. <laughs> um, and then going along with the Glossier trend, I'm going to use the Halo Scope in the shade Quartz, which I have been absolutely loving this. I have, well, in the past, I was obsessed with the Becca uh, uh, Becca Opal, and it, this is still such a beautiful, beautiful product. I still use it, but sometimes I feel like if I put too much on, it looks a little bit too shimmery. So it's her side hoe now. Yeah, it's my side hoe. This is my main hoe, and... <laughs> I love this so much. It's so natural looking because it doesn't have glitter in it really. It's just like a, I don't even know, it looks like more wet, I'd say, than shimmery, you know? Mm -hmm. So I kind of put this all over my face. So you got splashed by light. Yeah. Yes, and I actually just swipe it on and then I use my beauty blender to blend it out. Okay, so in the crease, I'm using the color Smarty Pants, and it's this one here, just kind of like a nice light medium brown, and I'm slowly building. Do you see that? Oh, wow. Do you see mine? No. Can. See what? My highlighter. You didn't put a highlighter on. I did. That's what I was talking about. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's really subtle. It's yeah, not it's like very yours. subtle. Oh, I, I see it now, actually. Yeah. I think because you weren't like you in better the light. better see it, girl. You weren't in the light. The only thing is that when I get itchy, I can't scratch my face. I already have makeup on. You know, like the makeup scratch? <laughs> yeah, when you leave like a mark. No, when you're like itchy, but you don't want to ruin your makeup, so you just kind of like poke it. <laughs> so I'm just mixing Rebel and Sweetheart together. This is Rebel and then that's Sweetheart. And I'm just putting it in the very edge of my eye. Just to add a tiny bit of depth. While you do your eyeballs, I'm going to do my eye weave. No, my eye weave. My eye... <laughs> no, eye weave is like your um, eyelashes. I'm going to do my <laughs> eyebrows. And I just got these done. The lady left them very thick, which so I kind of like. like. Yeah. She left them very natural. Almost looks like I didn't get them done. <laughs> Yeah, but it looks good. I like it. Yeah, I would rather have my eyebrows thick than thin. The last lady I went to literally shaved them, them all off. <laughs> I came, she showed me that in the mirror and you know when you have to pretend you love yeah. it. And you're like, oh, I oh, love it. thanks. One eyebrow done. Get them, girl. <laughs> I'm 
you know it would be cool if Glossier made some eyeshadow palettes or not uh, eyeshadow um lipstick palettes um, I would buy those you think so yeah I think they would do a great job and the packaging would probably be really cute yeah Glossier packaging is my favorite yeah it's so cute it, it's very like 90s yeah you know when everything was clear in the 90s like those clear chairs blow up chairs that were plastic oh yeah Oh my gosh, do you remember those? I know. <laughs> That's so I funny. wanted my entire living room of the to be blow up furniture. Plastic. That would be I so fun. I loved it. So I'm going in with the same baked bronzer and then just putting it in the inner corner of my eye. Just to add a little bit of pop. I'm just using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner so much. And this one is in the color dark brown, but the black one is also really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah. It's like a matte, but it's like a semi-matte, like a glossy matte, which is cool because it's not like super shiny, you know? Yeah. But it's not so matte. It has like a little bit of sheen to it. So, I guess we can do like little updates. I... I'm back home from college because I graduated Yay. from Emory University. We're both done. I know. We were thinking of filming a review about our each each of our colleges that we went to because my sister went to University of Georgia. Go dog. And I went to a school that was very much the opposite. We didn't even have a football team. It was a private research institution. So I think it'd be interesting if we filmed our own perspectives of what we thought about our colleges, you know? I think that would yeah, be a cool video fun. to film. So let us know if you would like to see that video. Yeah, if you want to go to a party school or if you want to be a nerd. No. <laughs> you but can actually, be a nerd at UGA too. Yeah, but actually you, um, UGA, uh, Emory had a lot of parties. I feel like every school is a party school, Yeah. to be honest. It's oh, upstairs. by the way, like I'm using the um, I'm using my bronzer as my eyeshadow today. So I'm gonna use the Pixi mascara, and this one is the Lash Booster mascara. So this one is waterproof, and it's interesting because this mascara tube is smaller than the one that is not waterproof. So really, I wonder. So that's for a reason. Like that, yeah. So is it a clump like? Not clumpy, but clumpy in a good way mascara, you know, where it volumizes? No, this one is so natural. Really? I really like it, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it kind of looks like I have falsies on. Yeah, You know, bit. like those, yeah, the whiskies. way it makes them look wispy, yeah. That reminds me of the Glossier, the new Glossier mascara. I'm using the Clinique Chubby Stick in the shade Ample Amber, and I've feature this in one of my videos before but I love eyeshadow crayons they're so easy you just swipe it on mm -hmm. and then you just blend it out I'm just using Hoola Hoola bronzer and then I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line as well when I do my lower lash line I take the product and I just take it on the brush I'm using the pixie um, sheer cheek gel which is kind of similar to the cloud paint, except I think the cloud paints are creamier. And this one is just a gel. I'm going to go in with mascara. And my favorite mascara for a long time has been the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. The turquoise tube is my favorite. I'm going to apply a little bit more. Because, you know, you can never glow too much. i to get that glow up. And I just did my nails yesterday, and they're so they're cute. They're so cute, and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not focusing. Hello. There we go. Ooh, look at them. They look so pretty. So, I'm going to use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Sydney. It's a pinky color, so I'm not sure how this will match with my, with my look, but we'll try it out. But I thought it would be a nice pop of color. So I just did my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. I love this one. 
So I put on the L'Oreal lipstick from, or the color is Tropical Coral. And then I put a tiny bit of the cheek tint on my nose. I just feel like it makes mm. me look really youthful. And yeah, actually I didn't spray my face, so I'm gonna do that. Now. Oh yeah, I love this stuff. I know. So these are it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these are our looks. We really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. It's been a minute since we filmed together. It's been a hot yeah, minute. Yeah, this like calls for celebration. I know. I wish we had margaritas. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was so fun. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know what you thought about these makeup looks in the comments down below. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Adios. Adios.